Team Malaysia defending their gold medal. Malaysia takes their third gold medal. First off, my name is Daryl Goh and I am the head coach for Team Malaysia. Uh, my name is Aaron Christopher Peck. Uh, my role in the national team, I'm the men's captain. Hi, nama saya Carlos Gunting. Pemain terbaik dalam uh, kejohanan dunia 2022. Uh, I started off as a player and then as I went up, I played more competitive sports for other clubs. And then I got an opportunity to coach for Team Malaysia. My brothers brought me to his university to actually uh, play dodgeball. Nampak dari luar, nampak senang. So, saya pun cuba. And then last last mana tahu uh, terikat lah main dodgeball sampai sekarang dah about 7 8 tahun dah. Malaysia dah dapat Johan untuk kejohanan dunia uh, tiga kali uh, 2017, 18 dan 2022. I think because of the other states having grown in community, they provide a larger pool for talent in dodgeball in Penang, in Selangor. They have merged the talent of a lot of other players. Therefore, when we went through the national team phases, it was a little bit more uh, variety. Playing style evolved within Malaysia. We, everyone started to become more well-rounded as a player. So it doesn't matter if you were fantastic at throwing, if you weren't good at dodging or catching, you, your chances of making the team was a little bit on the slimmer end, if I'm being honest. So this year, the players that were selected are very much all-rounders. Everyone is good at everything. Dodgeball is not supposed to be expensive, but because of how events are set up and uh, the cost of balls, um, it is a decent spot to play in Malaysia. I think the one we played for all the world tournaments, it's, uh, it's a laminated surface. So basically what it provides is that players are able to slide around, have a little bit more agility on the floor, but Futsal courts are a little bit slippery as well, so they do the job in terms of having a proper surface to play on. Whereas here in Malaysia, we take the sport a little bit more seriously. That's hence why I feel if you were to go to, around to any dodgeball club in Malaysia, the environment is super competitive. So my role as captain is not so much on, hey, you do this, you do that. It's more on creating um, an environment for players to thrive in. So for me, how I see my role in the team is more on setting the overall culture and dynamic of the team instead of just you know micromanaging players. Bila you enjoy something, uh, dia takkan rasa betapa suka. If you do have goals to make it to the national team one day, it's very important to train not just your strengths but also areas that you need further improvement on. Dalam mana-mana tahap pun dia akan ajar awak to uh, ada disiplin diri. I think itu paling penting dalam uh, perkembangan seorang atlet lah. But I always tell my team, it's easy to win. It's very easy to feel happy when you're winning. But what makes a good team and a good player is your character when you are losing. Harapan saya, player-player yang mewakili negara pada masa depan akan dapat better quality in terms of management dan sebagainya lah. Generating or grooming grassroots players to play at the elite level is also an important priority for us. And also having a little bit more renowned competitions like the SEA Games, the Olympic, the, the development of the sport. I would say just have fun. I mean, as youngsters, we always love to play a sport because we enjoy the sport. For dodgeball, it's the same. Uh, if you're not having fun in a sport, uh, you're not playing the sport. So, if you are willing to explore dodgeball, just go out to any community and just have fun. 